Guys, we are doing the last prestige in the USI because we managed to achieve everything we needed. Honestly, uh, I personally wouldn't do that because I'm trying to reach the end of content. I'm really like going through the late stages. But our V-Device has two unique slots right now, which can only be acquired through the prestige reset i will try to use the ai points to see if it will work because we've managed to acquire a lot a lot of stuff and i really don't want to lose that so let's see what do we get at the end of the game uh at the maximum reinforce at the end of reinforce four basically and uh, uh what game holds for us in the later stages so let's go over the tab so i will tell you what i managed to achieve how long am i playing this run 20 days <laughs> This is hilarious. Yeah, I'm not really active recently, but it was a while. Anyway, for the compute, we managed to get tier 55 here and the rest over there. It can be increased if I'll spec into that, but I'm too lazy. I'm okay with my uh, fighters right now. I'm happy. For the synth, uh, for the fixtures, we are at level 18. For the modules, we unlocked something crazy here. Uh, uh, mastery facilitator so basically this one will double our mastery point per stat and today we will achieve mastery five on our crew later in the v device we managed to acquire a lot of cool v devices and unlocked two more keystone shard slots whatever they are so we will have permanent buff from the salvage uh, and from the what else from the compute shard that will help us quite a lot will make builds easier and overall will be nice for the prestige no unlocks remaining guys so we managed to get everything burst cannon is pretty much essential for some enemies that have the barrier so yeah it will allow you to take them out easier for the research i did the cycle through those uh, using the um, uh, retrofit mechanics. I have a lot of AI points, so I use those in order to buy myself retrofits, and I was okay. Really didn't want to do a prestige. No one should unless you want to unlock those shards, right? And what's pretty cool, in the sector 97 and further, you will have multiple specimen drops for the specimen research. I don't remember if I covered this or not. I think it was unlocked recently. But basically, this is pretty cool research mechanic that will allow you to get multiple research done based on the amount of specimens you harvested. So there's multiplier, multipliers, and they are pretty cool. I haven't really checked them all out, but I just leveled them all out and I'm happy about that. <laughs> For the warp drive, um, I actually could push quite a lot because max difficulty. I could push those things quite a lot to get a bit more. But once again, to lazy will do prestige right now. What's the point, right? Do they carry over through the prestige? I don't remember. I think they do. We should do that. <laughs> As for the upgrades, most of the stuff is like at the end game. We managed to get all the specimen research, uh, working on spe specimen gain. Uh, managed to get some capital overdrive bonuses here. And uh, that's expensive. Synth improvement. That's for the synth speed. We will need that later. At the bottom, we have the combined battle improvement and can get some wheel piercing charge, but I don't like it that much. On the bottom here in the right area, we managed to get some upgrades for extra uh, resource farming that will help us after the prestige if we will have to do that. And uh, some compute upgrades here as well. Oh, nice. Let's get this one too. It, it will be necessary as well. Some uh, tier scaling reduction that will help us to grow more here. But other than that, it's pretty linear and we can't really do that much. Let's spend the rest of the points here because after the prestige, it will be painful to get those. I'm really not sure what will reset because I haven't prestige during the uh, reinforce, so I have no idea, guys. Oh yeah, I think I skipped the reactor. I don't know why, but here we have bunch, bunch of tier six stuff and it's going. I have double charge from the crew reinforce all good here crew so for the crew uh we have mastery four on all of those i think yeah and we need about 223 sleeves right now in order to the to get to the mastery five and we have 750 bio sleeves saved up so basically uh we can get two or three of those in the current state but 
keep we will add that synth module over here for double the mastery point and do the base reset it will give us an additional 11 percent from base 5 that i was working on let's go and add a bit more so yeah basically we should be able to get more of those things and for the core most core uh, things are maxed out other than the veil piercer which is extremely expensive but we're getting some siphoning boost from it so we should be able to get more of that Ooh, maybe base siphoning would be better and eh, whatever doesn't matter so yeah for now i will go do the warp a bit in order to be able to push those a bit forward and see you afterwards all right we managed to reach sector 99 well difficulty 99 on warp which is insane because the max difficulty is 99.5 and i gotta do three well two more uh, warps in order to max it out the uh warp income difference is like about three times so i would say it's worth it moreover we get additional warp multiplier which converts into our shields and damage so yeah obviously we uh that's a good idea we should have done that. oh and i'm not running the combat build my god all right guys we have intense fight here we are fighting the 99 difficulty warp and uh it's challenging the enemies are tough uh the boss is tough as well and we might just lose that oh wait uh activate all the secret powers of everything come on come on no no okay it's possible with the reactor buffs guys but wow wait it will be the cap of the difficulty let's go I wanna see that all right so this is the last wave of enemies and then we will face the enemy itself now we can switch it all towards the capital damage <laughs> nice we did we max it out oh oh okay we will get our ass kicked right now by the enemy swarm i'm pretty sure yeah, those guys are tough. I wonder, probably we need to beat this in order to get, like, the capacity. Or maybe that's the limit. Who knows? But that was pretty cool fight. I like that. All right, we are going for 99 difficulty on the next warp. I'm curious how it will go. The normal enemies, they do decent damage. But honestly... Oh, sh that's a lot of the damage from the capital ship what the hell ah okay that was a that was a bad luck it was basically with the turrets on so that's why it did that crazy damage to us all right all right um in any case i think we will need the reactor here as well so without it we'll probably be in trouble i will give it a go without the, the reactor though all right we are going for the main ship i turned capital stats to the maximum oh my god we need to focus on this first oh nice Ooh, that was scary uh, it's done it's done guys we can decimate it no problem i'm curious if we can go for the next level let's activate everything we can again and try the next difficulty 99.5 i think we will be decimated here we're being too shattered by the fighter guys so yep not that easy anyway right now we are done with the warp uh it's in a really good state it's it's good earnings of warp for the future now uh i want to push in the actual sector because because i'm ready for that i've been waiting for this for a while to record this i was actually sick so i couldn't speak properly and uh, I was waiting to show you how it can happen. So, let's go. All right, we are at the boss. I never actually attempted this boss before, so I'm curious how it will go. It was easy. Congratulations! Uh, you have reached the end of current content. More is being actively developed, but for now, Sector 98 is the last fully complete sector. Uh, there is nothing new past this point and the enemies scale insanely fast. There are enemies up to sector 100, but they will change when the new content arrives. All right. So, sector 98, the enemies here. Do we get anything new? Not really. Maxed. Maxed. 
maxed. We have everything that we need. I'm curious how far we can push. Uh, research. We get a new data core. Nice. Now, I'm curious about one thing. Uh, I want to do the prestige, but without prestige. Can we do that? Because uh, I decided to call this video the last prestige because basically end of content and you don't need to do prestige afterwards, right? I want to do the uh, run with the crew as well and everything, but do we have the AI consumable? N no, we don't have it. Oh, wow, the enemies actually decimate us at the end of Sector 98. They are strong. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if we have the prestige thingy here, but not really. We can get base prestige, crew mastery, cleave, uh, crew sleeve, respect, but nothing really uh, what we need. All right, let's remove enemy auto spawn so they won't zerg us that much. I don't remember who actually killed us. Was it the enemy capital ship or the swarm? It was the swarm, I guess. So let's take this guy out. We should be okay. Right? Oof. It hits like a truck. Threat imminent. It's going out. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, both normal enemies and the capital ship are doing decent damage here. But we can... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that were... The normal enemies. I can see that right now. So we will need the reactor help. Let's go. Yeah, we should be okay now. Sadly, this thing is on, on the cooldown. So not nice. Uh, let's move a bit towards the normal shield and damage thingies. There we go. Sector 99, guys. Take a look. We are progressing forward. Sector data. What do we have here? Not that much. How strong the enemies are. Probably really strong. Uh, ooh, whoa, whoa, ho, 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 ho. I was decimated right here. By, by what? Look at that. They don't care. Oh my god. I'm being one shotted into the oblivion. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, another cool thing that Sector 99 has all type of those how are those things called a specimen drops and it's a really good place to farm but you gotta be ready for that i think those fighters are really strong okay okay that's really nice i really enjoy that we push that far right now so uh let's move on to our main point of the video right uh i wanted to show you the push i showed you the push end of content right here uh, now we need to get some mastery points. So, uh, in order to do that, we will need to deactivate this, activate that. That already makes it 100 sleeves to the next mastery. It's already way better. But I will use the base prestige in order to get the base bonuses from this base. And whatever, let's just stuff it green for now. And now it's even less. It's 100 sleeves to the next mastery. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we should be able to get some points. Anyway, um, in order to do that, we will need to do several things uh, to get the most of this. Uh, I would like to get the full XP build on most characters on, on most uh, crew members so let's get it to like 10 this will be maxed out this will be maxed out okay and well warp harvesting isn't that necessary right now so it doesn't matter where we put the rest uh this one is maxed out already for echo man and uh let's retire this fella and place him here so we will get more echo man here as well nice then again we need the crew shard focused on all the crew members uh something like that and i think we will switch the wheel piercer to crew quarters as well that makes sense right so extra retrofit let's go uh crew quarters everything else stay the same yep upgrade all everything maxed out we stay here the enemies come research uh it's tempting to try something else pretty sure it won't work but let's give it a go look at that we're already getting the new stuff 
true upgrade granted. Proficiency fighter improved. Nice. Now let's wait a little bit to max out what we have here. And uh, uh, it's only 90 mastery uh, leaves to the mastery. Yeah. <laughs> This is pretty cool. So I think we are ready. We have everything that we need. This module, this module, then uh, V device, reactor. Do we have reactor for the crew? Probably not. Uh, research, nothing, nothing here. Uh, do we have the crew stuff here? I forgot most of the things already. Haven't played for a while. Anyway, I think we are ready. So um, let's make this happen. 90 sleeves. How to reprint. Round up. Let's go enable and let it flow. That will be like quite a lot of new mastery points and that will help us drastically with this. Uh, what do we get though? Maximum active crew? Seems like a good start, right? We can reset them afterwards, so doesn't really matter. It will take a while though, because they build up slowly. And there we go. Go! Nice! We managed to achieve Mastery 5. The next one cost 900 sleeves. That's crazy, but achievable. Since I managed to collect that much, I'm pretty sure if we work hard enough, we can get there one day. Not today for sure. So where do we put it? Um, I think I will put it in the stat scaling. And I will put it in the Ackerman because that will allow us to get more science. I mean, that's the stat. Oh, nice. Crew skill. That's, that's sweet. And this is sweet as well. So basically that will allow us to get uh, XP faster for other crew members. And that's why I think it's beneficial for our current goal. Uh, there we go. So we need, what, 91, 90? Again, 90 sleeves for Cyber Specialist. Let's uh, give it a go. Let's wait a little bit for him to uh, get some levels here so we will get better multipliers. I like those milestones, though. Look at this. Each of those will boost our uh, crew members, like rank points and all that. And stat scale in delay. That will be really nice if we we'll be able to achieve that right now. But it's a bit too far like let's take a look uh this one uh, let's try all the red ones right and see if we'll be able to reach that milestone yeah we're close but like 100 isn't really achievable right now so probably not i mean theoretically we could even reprint reconstruction specialist over here in order to get more um specific type of xp for the crew members, but I don't think it will do that much of a difference. Oh, wow. And there we go. Our second crew member is getting Mastery 5 as well, and we are getting Ingenuity Crew Training. That's very, very nice. That will help us further down the road quite a lot. Maybe I can even save up for the proficiency right now, so things will get easier. What's that to boost? Um, secondary stat. Interesting. Maybe we'll get this one work for all the secondary sets it doesn't really matter there we go i've managed to secure proficiency training as well cool and now all i need is ecumen which is like the slowest of them all i have no idea why and engineering as well look at this so many tasty upgrades in any case next one is researcher and we will need 92 sleeves for that 91 okay if you say so my friend i think still think it's 92 and we managed to get Ackerman crew training on reaching the researcher mastery five uh let's put it to a good use and get well let's say engineering xp that's so much progress right here honestly guys that's insane so the next one materials engineer same stuff 91 it's pretty easy it's good that it doesn't go up at least because as you guys know, each next crew member is more expensive in terms of XP. And uh, the fact that we can afford them all for 90 is good enough. I think we should be able to get, if not all, but most of them. Like this one costs 100 already. This one costs 92 though. Yeah, we're done. That was fast. We managed to secure another ingenuity upgrade here. And we're really close to 
uh, this engineering one. What's pretty cool, all of them will double the amount of um, high-tier resources, farm speed, so that will be useful for past prestige. Let's put this point into ingenuity. And the next one will be proficiency, but first let's give them some time to enjoy this and get those upgrades. I think that will be enough of this enjoyment. Retire, we still have 390 of those. 89! Things are getting cheaper. <laughs> Unexpected, but yeah, let's give it a go. Done and done, and we're upgrading the last upgrade for the XP right now, so we will get the most out of it uh you might think why the hell are you doing that stand that's not the most effective way to go yes because i can use ai points to uh respect the where is it crew master respect there we go i have six of those and we can change them around afterwards but now uh it will help me to get the most out of the current run for the xp because i'm lazy and yeah, we will get more upgrades like that, and later on we can distribute it to something else if we want. There we go, we managed to get all capital damage and max shields upgrade. That's nice, because Xena, Phenomenologist, is Mastery 5 again. Uh, this is not worth it, <laughs> so we'll keep going. Let's retire this dude and move on to Industrial Engineer. I am pretty sure we'll be able to upgrade all of those guys right now. Obviously, we should be able to do that. And another all capital damage and max shields upgrade. Nice. I love I love how crew is that useful for you. Echo Man is still falling behind. I, I have no idea. Is it for everyone, guys, that Echo Man is like the last one to upgrade? But yeah, now we can get extra mastery upgrade and... I will put it probably to the, uh, respect point. I don't know. I think synth mastery because I really need to do some synth before the prestige as well. So probably this. Not the best thing because, uh, right now I will consider mastery upgrades as a part of my build basically. So if I want to change them, I will. I will just spend some of my 2.5k AI points for that, so should be okay, right? <laughs> now, a reconstruction specialist is expensive. We have 111 bio sleeves left, and this guy costs 102, so we barely squeeze through. And uh, yeah, with this, we will have, well, let's say not all the mastery points we can get, it's still possible to collect. Uh, how many do we need here? Like 900 basically and get extra point. But realistically, it will be pretty much the last point. So uh, if we want to get two of the master upgrades from the bottom level, we need to get rid of some from the top. So we can't really max it out unless we make them all mastery six, which is it's possible, but will take forever. And bam, the milestone. Achievement unlocked. Gain enough crew levels. That's right the moment when we manage to get the next mastery to reconstruction specialist. That's XP multiplier. Very timely. A crew upgrade gained. And this crew upgrade that will give rank scaling delay for all of them. Which is insanely good. Like all this stuff, guys. It's not just decent. It's great. So, uh, we're done with the crew. We are ready to do the prestige, but I won't do that because I want to try synth again. To see if we'll be able to get something from this. Uh, let me change stuff around for the synth build. Hmm, it's fast, but it's not fast enough. Like, honestly, it's working. We can get some new recipes here and there, but it's not lighting fast. Do I miss something? Yeah, I missed this, I guess some warp stuff over here that will do pretty decent bonus to the synth but outside of that oh i forgot this little guy there we go so much better it will take a while though but i'll let it run and uh, after that we will do the prestige so we managed to do some crafting it's still going yep but i'm tired of this so let's go and do the prestige honestly like if i would be extremely efficient i would wait or maybe a day. Oh, wait. We can wait for a day. <laughs> uh, uh, let's wait for a day. So that's like four 
uh, time skips. Magic or pay to win? <laughs> Two. Wow, that, that's a lot of upgrades here. Three. What are we getting for this? Let me check. We're still getting some stuff being produced. Uh, that's expensive stuff. Ooh, wow, this one will take 236 days. <laughs> Insane. But yeah, let's wait six more hours and... Okay. Um, Hint is... Well, it's not done. But I would say in it, it's in the state where we can progress it anymore, right? Can we upgrade something? We can upgrade Compute Booster. Uh, this could be upgraded if we will invest some points into it. Wow, not that many upgrades. But yeah, we unlocked a lot of recipes uh, that will allow us to get higher. Oh, nice. We did some research as well. That's cool. Yeah, that will allow us to do some uh, fixture speed as well. So that's a win-win situation for us. And now, well, I mean, we don't have anything else to do, right? Oh, that's power right here. Some warp accumulated. That's, that's convenient. I really don't want to do prestige. And honestly, I don't really need those slots that much. But I think it's inevitable because, like, we want to unlock everything, right? So let's go. Prestige. Oh my god. Most things. Yeah, let's go. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh my god. That will take forever to build up. But on the bright side, now we can do this and we can do this. It will help us to get more stuff. Not that crazy effective. But, I mean, less things to juggle, so it's cool. And the normal weapons instantly got filled. And what's pretty cool, the capital weapons are being built up pretty fast i wasn't expecting that compute power over here is almost at the same spot when uh where it was before the reset let's put some points everywhere wow it's above that that's pretty cool so basically at the start i'm running the uh compute build with the the xp build because you don't need that many things early game and uh, compute works extremely well we're getting more stuff than before and i wasn't expecting that much progress so fast now we will run a small electricity build for uh void power to boost the reactors a bit but yeah that will be glorious because that will add a lot a lot of upgrades for those and we add this thing and bam Suddenly, the reactors become very powerful. And yeah, guys, I just noticed that I missed one of the areas. And uh, it contains warp. So we will have one more warp to complete. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. And we are at sector 99 again. Straight after the prestige without any farming. And I'm surprised how easy it was to get here. Although I think... This is the area where we will get our ass kicked again. Let's see. Hell yeah, those guys are very tough. We don't have the combat build, though. We are in the farming build, but the damage they do is insane. Okay, let's try the combat build action. I think we can handle it. We are farming sector 99 with the combat build, though. But we're managing it. This is pretty impressive. So yeah, basically, what are the plans for now? I will work on the reactor, since it's being upgraded right now with our extra uh, void power. The charge time is like 11 minutes. That means that we can increase at least one more tier for each category. Then I will work on the crew a bit. It's almost done. A little bit left. And then, obviously, we need to send everything to the maximum to do all the upgrades, because right now we only get the minor upgrades here. Finish the warp, finish everything, and basically this is end of content already. I am really glad that I've managed to get here, guys, and I really like the game. I might actually do the review for it a bit later, and I want to hear your opinion on uh, Unnamed Space Idol in the comments. You've been with me through the whole journey, so let me know. And yeah, check out the wiki for the game in the description as well. Um, and yeah, I think that will be end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that was a great journey. I hope there will be more. Like one of the best 
idle incremental games out there, guys. Really. Love it. But yeah, that's about it for now. Thank you for watching. It's been Stan Kosh. Bye.